All right. Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is a quick pop-up uh, video that I wanted to give you guys about the top three online marketing strategies that work really well for introverts. And I know it because I'm an introvert and I do two of them. <laughs> I do two of them. So we're gonna, I'm going to jump right in because I want this to be really quick. The first strategy is blogging. Blogging is my claim to fame. It's my, it's my foundation of my business. It's where I started. And uh, I will blog for the rest of my life because it has been such a, 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 a benefit to my business. It has given me that authority and it has paid me well. And so this is why I preach blogging so much. Um, the second one is recorded video. Recorded video, um, unlike, I'm not talking about Facebook Lives, I'm talking about old-fashioned recorded edited video that you can really create something special with. I, um, I didn't enjoy it in the beginning, but I really enjoy it now. So this is really something that I recommend for introverts because of the intimacy factor. It's just you and that, at that recorder. The last one is, or the third one is podcasting. Podcasting is something that I thought about, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but it's a really great way to um, expose, or I should say for introverts to grow their audience with. So we'll talk about that. Um, now, I recommend picking one strategy so I'm not telling you do all these strategies at once, but I get one strategy and get good enough to start producing leads and then move on to add another strategy. Now I start, like I said, I started with blogging and it made, basically it made my first overnight sale early on. So I was really hooked. And when I say overnight sale, meaning I woke up to money in my account because of a piece of content that I created that had a call to action. Somebody felt like it was interesting enough to click and then interesting enough to buy. And so I made money without having to do any crazy, you know, promotion or, or prospecting or house parties home parties, I should say. House parties are actually fun, but anyway, home parties. Um, so blogging is fun. It's effective. And like I said, I didn't have to go after people to get them to hear my message or, or buy my products or join my, my business. Now it wasn't until three years later, three years, it took me three years later that I added recorded video. Um, that was a bit more out of my comfort zone. That took me a little while to grasp. I knew it was a, a, a positive component to, to blogging. I knew that it was, they could work hand in hand. Um, but it, like I said, it was, it was a little bit of a stretch that I had to come out a little bit out of my comfort zone. But once I did, I really, really enjoyed it. And I love the editing process of the video. I love trying to make it, you know, professional looking and I'm still learning how to do all of that. So that's something that was really fun and I really enjoyed it. Now people can also, you know, see you more and that seeing you besides just reading your content, they can see you that increase that no like and trust factor without them actually having to be in my presence live which would be a big freak out for me. So if anybody knows me, I'm not a big fan of the new uh, Facebook Live that's been out for a couple of years now. Um, I've been doing fine with recorded video. Um, not, w am I saying that I will never do a Facebook Live? No, I've done them in my Facebook group, um, but I don't enjoy it. It's a little bit discombobulating for me. Um, I can't focus because I'm focusing on who's watching or who's coming in and I'm supposed to you know, acknowledge them and all these things. And it's just a little bit energy draining. And if you know about the introvert, when we're drained, we need some time to recoup and doing a live was, was draining me. So it wasn't, at, it wasn't like doing a recorded video. So like I said, uh, if you're a uh, introvert and maybe you feel like you're being pressured to do Facebook lives, know that recorded video is another option for you. And the last one is podcasting and podcasting is something that, you know, I don't know a whole lot about. It's something that I played around with, but I never really learned enough about it to implement, but I knew that it, it was another great way for introverts to shine. 
So that's it, guys. If you're an introvert and you're looking for ways to build your business online in a way that complements your personality, in a way that doesn't make you feel overwhelmed or overexposed, then I invite you to join me and other introvert biz owners in my private Facebook community. Um, I share my three-step blueprint to building a profitable online business without feeling like a pushy salesman and just general ways to build your business in a way that is uh, unique, in a way that is um, authentic, and a way that you can feel confident to um, put yourself out there. Okay, so there's the address, and I will also put it in the comments area, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.